Hello there, Learner Squadron, and welcome back to the channel. And today we have a huge news video to go through. Honestly, this might be the biggest LEGO Star Wars news update video we have made in a very long time, if not the biggest one we have ever made up to this point, as it has been a crazy 24 hours to say the least on social media. We have so much to talk about. We have more rumors coming about that leaked release date in April. We have a ton of news about DLC. There is just all kinds of different talks going on about DLC. We have some confirmation from some stuff on Amazon Mexico. We have some stuff coming out from various Twitter accounts about supposedly 20 DLCs. There's a lot of stuff that has happened in the last 24 hours for us to unpack. But before we get into all of that in this video, we have some housekeeping to attend to. First, we just want to announce that this will be the final video that you will be able to drop a Q&A question to enter our LEGO Star Wars set giveaway, which will be a mystery LEGO Star Wars set, which will be revealed upon the announcement of the winner. We will be sitting down and doing this part two of our Q&A this weekend since we are now together. To enter the Q&A, all you have to do is leave a Q&A question, like this video, and subscribe to the channel, and you will be entered to win that LEGO set. Also, if you are new to the channel, you should join our Discord. It's a great way to get to know both Andreas and I, as well as many other people within the community. The link to join that will be down below. Now, Andreas, I think we have one more message to get into before we break down all of this news from the last 24 hours. That's right. Uh, it would not be a Lunar Squadron video without throwing the mic over to Bosk. I'm gonna ask Bosk a very pointed question today. Uh, given that we're talking about all this Lego, Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga news, Bosk, how excited are you about, you know, all of this new stuff going on in this community? Are you feeling it? Are you really feeling like this game's coming? Let us know what you think. It is a pleasure. The bounty is accepted. You are my prey. <laughs> Thanks, Bosk. If only we could all be as excited as you. With that, let's get into the video. This is Lunar Squadron standing by. We are ready to make the jump to hyperspace. On my mark, Lunar Squadron. All right, so we have a lot to talk about today. Just like Nick just mentioned, there has been an absolute flurry of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga information, uh, which has just seemed to pour out over the last 24 hours. And we really do want to place an emphasis and just hit you know, the biggest thing first, and that is the DLC characters. Uh, first of all, we wanna give a credit to you know our very ever-reliable tippers uh, at the uh, Lego Star Wars news page. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Xavier, Captain Rex, and Victor again for, you know, letting us know whenever they see this stuff. Your guys' eyes are everywhere. Also, everybody, uh, it's a great page to follow. So I'm going to put, you know, their page up here to stay up to date with uh, Lego Star Wars news as well um, as following, you know, our channel to stay up to date on all of these things. We really do try to keep each other in the loop and we reverberate whenever somebody finds something. I uh, also wanna thank you know our subscribers for doing the same thing. A lot of you guys were in our Discord uh, letting us know whenever things were dropping. But when it comes to this DLC news out of Mexico, Nick, what do we have here? Is this really a leak or is it kind of a misfire here? I think it's something that has just been sitting here that no one has really noticed until I guess a few hours ago. And it's kind of a big deal. This is on the official Amazon Mexico website. This seems to be legit coming from WB Games. And there is a picture which showcases the different versions of the game that you'll be able to purchase. It shows the deluxe edition, all the cover arts for that. It shows what the standard game will look like, the cover art, the key art for that. It talks about how you will be getting a minifigure of Luke Skywalker with the milk as a nice little bonus for buying the physical edition of the game. But then there is a picture on the right side, and this is the biggest thing that is coming from this picture because it is something that we've all kind of wondered about and talked about for a very long time, and it is actually the DLC character packs that will be in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga upon the game's release. 
Now, we know for sure up to this point that there were going to be at least six character packs that was confirmed on GameStop's website when they listed them in the description for the deluxe edition of this game. However, it looks like we are getting a seventh character pack, a trooper character pack. Now, what that is exactly is, is to be seen, but you can pretty much speculate on what that is going to be. Most likely, in my opinion, probably an Empire Trooper pack or just sort of a collection of different stormtroopers from throughout the saga, perhaps even clone troopers. It's Definitely. obviously dealing with something in that regard, either the Republic or the Empire, or perhaps even the First Order. It's very interesting, trooper pack. I don't think this is what you and I were expecting when we thought they would be doing perhaps a few more character packs when this game released. I know you and I sat down, we talked about, we were thinking maybe Book of Boba Fett, the Obi-Wan show is around the corner, Andor is always out there. But it looks like we're getting a trooper pack. Yeah, I mean, I was definitely expecting more of these generic type unaffiliated packs to start rolling out. If you guys do recall, uh, throwback to the Force Awakens DLC, which had, you know, its, you know, range of DLC packs, which came alongside that game, one of which being uh, the droid pack, for example, which was a more, you know, generic pack, kind of like this trooper pack, which is just, you know, a theme rather than uh, you know, a specific show or movie that it's promotionally tied to. Uh, when we're thinking about a trooper pack, uh, I mean, my brain goes straight to all of the different permutations and wide variety of, uh, trooper, of you know, trooper. these prequel troopers. But I mean, like you're saying, we, we could go all the way to like Dark Trooper if we wanted, the fallen Death order, Trooper, purge Fallen troopers, Purge Troopers. Yeah, there, there are way too many troopers to go through and it kind of seems like one of the easier things for tt games to put together by way of dlc packs um who knows how in-depth they're going to get obviously if they put things like rocket troopers jump troopers jet troopers then you know they're going to be whole new animation sets that they might have to work on but we already know that there are you know jet packs in the game uh i'm talking about that you know shot of ray on jakku nima outpost with the jet pack um but i think what I'm most excited about this particularly uh, this particular thing isn't that we're getting this trooper pack. It's actually uh, these screenshots that are along with you know this official marketing. These are three screenshots of the game, presumably, which we've never seen before. And you know one of them is uh, specifically showing off uh, Mando, Din Djarin, and Baby Yoda. And it says, you can see in very tiny text, it says that Grogu is a companion character. Uh, it's very blurry and almost hard to make out. However, it does look like Grogu is going to fly, you know, in his uh, prem alongside uh, Din Djarin, which, how cool is that? Yeah, it's really cool. Honestly, just getting some new screenshots of presumably, like you said, the game itself is honestly something I didn't even thought about until you just brought it up. That is really cool. It's really nice to get something substantial for the first time in a long time. Now, obviously, this is just a DLC character pack, but again, this is just another one of those things that just kind of points to this game is coming, things are happening with this game that we've never seen before. It's just happening. It's happening. And this is not the only thing that has happened in the last 24 hours. This is actually not even the only thing that's happened with DLC in the last 24 hours, as yesterday... There was this whole conversation on Twitter about supposedly 20 DLC character packs or 20 DLC, however, would be released alongside this game. What that meant, we weren't quite sure. It was kind of a big talk on social media yesterday. What exactly does 20 DLC mean? Yeah, and uh, I think this news kind of broke alongside, you know, this whole data mining report uh, out of this particular uh Twitter account, which has a history of looking into Microsoft pages. Uh, one of the things that they looked at, you know, way back, uh, I think this was, I don't want to say way back, uh, it was January 18th. Uh, they basically posted, uh, the tweet is right here, Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga has just got the first private update of 2022, DLCs available 20. Now, uh, I'm assuming that there is a wide lack of context here that these data miners have to go off of. Uh, however, they were able to uh, provide us with some more details. I'm not sure how much it clarifies things for you guys. For Nick and I, honestly, this didn't really clarify much. 
uh, the, t the follow-up tweet was, note, DLCs equal real DLCs and bundles and in-app purchases. What that might mean to me is that while the total number of downloadable things on the store that are you know related to the base game might total 20 that doesn't necessarily mean that there were you know 20 character packs of dlc characters that's that's kind of what i got from that limitation is that kind of what you're getting yeah i'm i'm really confused by what exactly they mean by that like you said they're probably very limited by what they see within the coding we just know for sure that seven of the dlc are going to be those character packs what that 13 remaining DLCs could mean could honestly mean anything. I mean, it's just, it's downloadable content. What does that mean? It that could, could mean, mean a level a pack, skins, it could like, mean, whatever. Honestly, it could even Weapons. mean something smaller than that. It, it really isn't much context. I don't think we should be going around thinking, hey, that means there's going to be 20 character packs. I don't think that's what yeah, that means. Yeah, that's, that's, if you just look at the history of LEGO Star Wars DLC, 20 is just a lot and like i challenge you to sit here and name me 20 dlc character packs that wouldn't already be in the base game because this is still covering the nine episodic films and there's already confirmed dlc character packs for pretty much every other substantial content that has happened in the star wars universe over the last few years mm -hmm. so i would challenge you to find me 13 additional character packs that would make sense for this game that wouldn't already be in this game covered by everything else i just don't know if that's possible yeah even if you are thinking about packs such as book of boba fett trust us we have sat down and tried to compile these lists which is very hard to do when we don't even know all of the characters that are going to be in book of boba fett we don't even know the characters that are going to be in future shows like obi-wan acolyte ahsoka like the list goes on we just cassian I mean, obviously, we know Cassian's going to be in Cassian. Ahsoka's going to be in Ahsoka, and Obi-Wan's going to be in Obi-Wan. But beyond that, uh, I think it would be very hard for them to piece together, you know, 13 of these. But And a lot of those characters are already going to be covered, most likely, by the confirmed DLC character point. packs. Fair, fair point. Now, there are a couple other big, not as big, but big news items that came out over the last few days. I think the biggest one I want to touch on first is... We have an ESRB rating now, officially for this game, it appears. It has not appeared within the database yet at the time of this filming for ESRB, but it is on the Microsoft Store, the Microsoft page on the Xbox Store for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. This game, much like previous other LEGO games, is rated E10+. Are we surprised by this? No, and I mean, I guess the only thing that... I'm pulling from this isn't the rating itself. Again, when, whenever we talk about these ratings, we're not here like, oh my God, there's there's no drugs in this game. Like that's not what we're here fascinated by. It is the fact that this stuff is starting to trickle out. These boxes are starting to be checked by this company and it's just a sign that things are alive and well and that all things are in ship shape for a impending release. And when we look at the Microsoft store, there is now that big E. Uh, who knows, we've checked the PlayStation store. Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga is not even on the PlayStation store. It's not on the Nintendo store. However, it is on the Steam store, but ratings have not been uploaded to that store. It's just a rating pending still. Uh, so, you know, that's where we're at right now is somehow Xbox has this ESRB rating. Stay tuned, we will report on uh, you know, whenever that official rating is found on that database. And that kind of brings us to our final thing here, which is this leaked release date. Uh, it is, again, guys, a result of leaks and data mines and nothing officially confirmed. So I wouldn't put a lot of stock in this. Uh, this is by that same source that data mined the numbers uh, of the DLCs. Uh, again, the prospective release date from this source is in this tweet right here, Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga, possible release date, April 5th, 2022. Just another data point that kind of confirms that range that we've been looking at based on all the information that we've been looking at in the past few weeks, right? Yeah, I think what gives this perhaps the most credibility, uh, again, nothing is confirmed until TT comes before us and says, yep, April 5th, that's the date is the fact that this is the same date that we talked about a few months ago that we covered when it was leaked in that NVIDIA leak. 
and was on that list. And now this is coming from a data mine of the Microsoft store or the Microsoft page, and they have April 5th listed in there. So that is now two pages that are possibly leaking out the April 5th date. It falls within a lot of the ranges we're looking at. It makes a ton of sense. And I, it's in the launch window. It's so. within the launch window. There's a lot of reasons April 5th makes sense. Honestly, there's a lot of reasons. But again, it's not yet confirmed. I do think this is possibly pointing towards April 5th. I think, I don't know if I'm thinking it's a coincidence that this date has now popped up multiple times, but again, we cannot say for sure until TT themselves says so. But I definitely think when you look at everything we have talked about in this video, everything that has happened over the last 24 to 48 hours, there are a lot of things happening with this game. I feel like I say this in every video we do. There are a lot of things happening in this game or with this game that have never happened before up to this point. I, I really do think this game is coming in spring 2022. I think this game is coming out in a few months. I honestly, personally, I, I don't have a real like hard concrete reason to believe this. I think we're gonna get something significant out of this game in the next few weeks. I really think big news is coming. I think there are just, there's too many things coming out about this game that eventually it kind of gets to that point that Marvel kind of deals with the same issue with their films is you kind of gotta get ahead of the leaks and you just drop it. You do it yourself. Mm -hmm. And I really think we're quickly approaching the fact where TT Games is going to have to just do it themselves. Give us something, give us a release date, give us a look at actual gameplay. But I do think something is coming. We are quickly approaching February. We really are just a few months out from spring. So even if it's not the April 5th release date, if they do intend on hitting a spring release window, the time is now to start doing things. We're just, we're at most, or at the shortest, we are a month and a half to two months from the start of spring and then at most three to four months from mm -hmm. spring. So it's time. I really think the ball is going to get rolling. It looks like it has. We have an ESRB rating apparently. We have a Peggy rating. So it's been rated in two of the bigger markets. We have more rumors about this release date that keeps popping up. Now we have a brand new picture that's showcasing what the deluxe edition is gonna come with. Seven character DLC packs is confirmed. There is just a lot happening game yeah i mean i think it's only a matter of time before we do see something official come out who knows guys there could be a completely cut and trimmed tr trailer of this game with a release date and who knows maybe like you know one day they like delete the release date and edit it and put it you know one day back one day forward they're kind of thinking about it uh, i'd like to think that that video is sitting uh, uh, in someone's hard drive on this planet right now, and they're just waiting to hit that launch button so that we can all just, you know, lose our minds about this thing, get super excited for this project with, like you're saying, only a few months to go before we finally get our hands on this thing. It's been such a long road to this game, but uh, there's just this feeling of movement right now of imminence. Things are coming. Uh, so keep your eyes and ears open. As always, let us know if you guys see anything. We'll let you know, rest assured, uh, if we do see anything with updates such as these. Uh, that said, guys, it is very important uh, for you to stay up to date with all of the news that's going on. Everything is kind of happening you know, at the last minute here. Uh, so to stay on top of all of that, I would encourage all of you to enlist in the Lunar Squadron, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button right on next to the subscribe button so that you get a, you know, notification whenever we upload so that you know LEGO Star Wars news, such as a release date, when a trailer is coming out, as soon as that information drops hot off the press, this is the place to get all of that information. Uh, again, I want to also encourage you to subscribe to the channel to get a chance to win a LEGO Star Wars LEGO set at our next Q&A. Again, the way to uh, participate in that Q&A is by writing a Q&A question in the comments down below, liking this video, and subscribing to the channel. Uh, we will be doing that Q&A this weekend, so make sure that you get those submissions in as soon as possible so that you are enrolled to win. Thank you all so much for watching this video. That's gonna do it for today. And as always, we will see you all next time.